Okay, you guys. So I kind of have mixed some things up. So I may remember where I got something. I may not. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nelijah Moore. If you are new here, welcome. Happy to see you. And if you are returning, hey, girl. So I know it's been a very long time since I posted. Well, not a very long time, but just a little minute. Um, and like I said, I've had a couple of things going on and um, I will certainly share soon. Um, if you hear a humming noise in the background, it is my foot massager. So I'm kind of doing a two in one. I'm working while I'm relaxing. Okay. So I really just wanted to get on to kind of show a lot of the stuff that I have purchased within the last couple of weeks. Some of it is retail therapy. Some of it is replacement. Some of it is something that I just have wanted for a while. And I'm somewhat embarrassed at the amount of stuff that I have. But at the end of the day, I wanted it. So I got it. But anyway, if you want to see what I've been hauling from everywhere, Sephora, Beautylish, Bergdorf, Neiman's, Nordstrom, keep on watching. But I want to start off with these babies here. I finally bit the bullet and purchased the Sky Collection um, brushes from Sonia G. This is my first set of brushes from her. And I am super duper excited. So I'm just trying to peel the packaging down so you can see the hairs. Um, these are all goat hair brushes. Um, I don't, I don't need any, no, I have a uh, refer brushes and I think those are good hair as well, but, um, I have heard so many good things about Sonya G and I was like, you know what? She needs to be in my life. So I went ahead and picked these up during the Beautylish sale, uh, where you get $20 back for every hundred you spend. Um, in addition to that, I picked up the Coming to America palette. Um, and this is by Oma Beauty. It's to die for. I don't think this um, camera is doing it any justice. And these shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. And the names of the colors are very African-esque, like Jolof, like Jolof Rice, Molly, um, Adabicina. And this has, it comes with a nice little mirror on the inside. So really, really excited about this. Ooh, I can get it back in there. Get in there. Um, I also picked up this by Terry Hyaluronic hydro powder. Um, I got it in the shade two and has a little bit of a tint to it. So I have not used this yet and I can't wait to do so. It kind of reminds me of the um, Givenchy Oh, look, there's a little sample in there. That's so cute. They're primer. Um, it reminds me of the Givenchy powder that has the four little quadrants in it, and you all dump it all out. I think I got the apricot something in that one. Just don't hold me to it. <sighs> Moving on, guys. Um, I also picked up, I was out of town, and... Um, just was looking for a, um, like a setting powder or blurring powder just to go all over my face. And I walked into the Nordstrom's and this lady told me about the Bobby Brown sheer finishing powder. Um, I haven't used it yet. It comes with this nice mirror and a little which I probably will not use, but um, she 
let me put some on my skin and it actually looked really really nice so i'm very excited to try this out i don't know in what lifetime i'll be able to use all of this makeup but i do love sharing it with you guys and trying it on with you and doing looks and all that great stuff so i guess i will keep one buying um i think that was it for beautylish i think that was it for beautylish so I had a very small mini um, Pat McGrath haul, if it's a haul, but I picked up the uh, Fetish Highlighter and Balm, uh, which looks like this. I got it in bronze. This packaging is super cute. And if I can get it open wrapped it around and put the there we go there we go all right then clearly i haven't opened this yet i can't even get in the packaging but this is the bronze side this is the bomb and how pretty that is you can see that hmm. Looks like it will blend right into the skin very nicely. And the balm, I believe, is to kind of give it a wet look when you apply it. So it's just a liquidy, you can't even see it. A liquidy balm. And then to apply the highlighter on top to give it a more wet look. Definitely looking forward to this guy here. And I believe I purchased the last of the three um, Blitz quads. I didn't have the, um, let me look down here. Yeah. Okay, it's even further. Yes, I did not have the Ritualistic Rose. So I picked this one up. Um, super pretty. And with my purchase, they sent me a... So that was pretty cool. I was excited about that. Now, what I will say is I'm not. It's not that I'm not a fan of the primer. I just don't know if I'm super wowed by the primer. So I know that I mentioned that I will be doing a huge giveaway and I'm going to put this girl in there. OK, and I think this is like a $60 primer, but. I still have my original one. I have not finished it. Here she is. Um, I think a lot of people were turned off by the packaging. Like, you know, it's very cheap and plasticky. Just nothing that people would think would be like Pat McGrath standard. So I think that kind of turned people off a little bit as well. But it was an okay primer. It wasn't like, oh my. Um, but I am using it. I am using it. All right. Next up is I'm going to do the small ones first. So I purchased some stuff from um, Nordstrom's. I was able and lucky enough to pick up two of the shade <clears throat> and, illuminate, and illuminate face palettes. So I have 0.5, which is actually what I'm wearing today. And then I have um, intensity two. So intensity 0.5 and intensity two. So I picked up both of these. Um, I've used intensity 0.5 twice and then intensity two, I believe once. I am noticing guys that I am falling in love with Tom Ford products. Like anywhere I go, um, I'm looking for, uh, is there some Tom Ford here? Um, and I just feel like his shade ranges, colors, uh, color stories and his quads and, you know, even these things here are, I don't want to say universal, but they just look so beautiful on so many people. And I really, really love that. So I don't think that of all of the Tom Ford stuff that I have, um, there's something that I just, oh my God, have to do so much to make it work. 
there's not one product that I have that I feel that way about. So um, definitely falling in love with Tom Ford more and more. Uh, I think his uh, Traceless, which is halfway gone, um, is one of the first nicer foundations that I purchased for myself when I got into makeup. So there is that. Was that all that I got from Nordstrom? Mm -hmm, I think it was. Okay, so on to Sephora. So during the VIB sale, I purchased a couple of times. I told myself I was only going to do once, but I think I did three. And my third order is not here. It literally just shipped yesterday yesterday being the 28th of april and we all know the sale ended on the 19th so there's that but i took the opportunity to pick up some stuff that was refills that i needed just some new stuff i wanted to try and then even some stuff that was just on sale that i felt like hmm, i've heard a lot of good things these aren't the newest things on the product on the market these aren't the newest items on the market but they're on sale and then i also get a discount on top of it and so it just made it worth it to me to try so i have some of those items that i will share with you as well so one of the items that i picked up that i wanted to try was the um nude stick the nude stick all over bronze color and i got it in sun kissed see that name so this shade I thought was a very nice, like rosy, dusty, browny, rosy color that I felt like would be a really nice kind of wash of color on my face. And it seemed pretty neutral in tone. And so I felt like, you know, why not give it a try? It comes with a um, brush on the other end, which... I'm not interested in so there's that I also picked up two shades of um, lipstick which I've never tried but because it was so deeply discounted I felt comfortable buying two but the studded kiss from KVD Beauty I got Bowen Bowen bow and arrow and Cathedral I'm actually wearing um, bow and arrow right now so it's a pretty nude soft color for me and i put it on with the um which lip liner did i use oh the uh, <laughs> color pop bff3 all right what else oh i picked up the danessa myricks um balm contour now i'm gonna be honest i feel like i got this from beautylish I don't know if I got it from Sephora. I feel like it was Beautylish. But I picked this girl up too and got it in medium three. Um, and I believe, yeah, I swatched this already. But look how brown that is. But then it shows up or it is just a beautiful brown. Just a beautiful brown. Like, look at that. <clears throat> that look like some of my foundation shade. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to actually leave this out so that I will try this very, very soon. Okay. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um. Oh. So I know I mentioned that I had bought the Gucci foundation and um, it was the wrong shade for me. I had got three, six, I got 380, but I went ahead and purchased 360. This is a much better shade for me. I think it's, it has a, a something that's like, it seems too deep and also too yellow just that much but 
it is a beautiful finish um and i can definitely make it work by the time i do all of my bronzing um, contouring highlighting and all that other stuff so very excited to have a shade that i can make work for moi all right what else is down here in my bag oh this is definitely an item that i picked up from beauty Rush. i may have even bought it from boxy charm you guys i have been doing the absolute most but it is the artist couture illuminati diamond glow powder so so pretty you guys cannot see the shimmer and flicker in here beautiful and it reminds me of the Juvia's Place highlighters that I use. And so I just wanted to try a different brand because I've been using those for a while. Um, and they're probably expired. So just pray for me. I know everyone has their own. Um, the products give a, a suggested shelf life. And then depending on how much we love it, we give it its own shelf life. So there is that okay let's put this down here all right next item that i picked up haven't even taken it out the box is the fenty beauty body sauce and i got shade three agave spice let's open her up Ooh, squishy Okay. I'm just trying to know where my mind on. All right, so let's rub that in. I think I put a lot in a small space. But I read or was watching some reviews that this is it doesn't feel glittery, it's a soft sheen. Um and it doesn't it's not sticky or anything like that so i am headed on vacation in a month and this girl will be in my bag okay some item that i really really wanted to try was the one size um, setting powder pick this up i have read a lot of great things about this product and like i said in a previous video i'm becoming a powder snob so I feel like I'm just literally collecting everything on the market and I wanted to try it out I don't have anything from one size um let's see oh gosh these blushes the um the stay vulnerable um are they stay? yeah stay vulnerable melting blush I got nearly mauve this is the color I got I also already have the apricot shade, which I love so much. And then I just picked this up because I wanted to try it out. Um, what else? This, I believe, was put in my bag on accident because I did not order this from Sephora. Um, the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. So thank you, Sephora, for the lovely accident. I received this. Thank you, girl um if you've used that product let me know let me know let me know um i picked this beauty blender bestie product up i know people say they only like the um black ones which i have the black but i just thought this was a cool little deal um you got the discount on it plus it came with uh something to carry it with as well as the, their cleanser and um it was on sale so i was like let me give it a try why not all right next item which i thought was a fantastic deal um the tower blush and lip jelly this is the cashew cashew is the lip jelly and power hour is the blush so i believe this was twenty six dollars and then on sale after that too and the blush itself is normally 20 bucks so i just felt like you couldn't beat it i just the shades look really really cute they're like a again a dusty rosy mauvey something 
feel like I'm into that right now. I also have one other um, Tower Beauty, which I have not opened yet, is Golden Hour. And this is more of an orangey um, blush, which I love too. Orangey, apricot-y type of blushes. I think look fantastic on my skin. Um, okay, so these particular items are the some of the items that I purchased because they were on sale and um, some had mixed reviews, some had really, really great reviews, but they were on sale significantly. And then the um, Sephora sale for the, um, ah, let me see, Dominique Cosmetics palette. So I got Celestial Storm, Berries and Cream, and Rustic Glam. I know that these are not new products, um, but I have heard some decent things about some of them and I just thought it was cute to have in my collection um, to create some looks or you know to use it on friends or when my daughter comes in my room looking for an eyeshadow palette I can give her one of these because it costs me next to nothing to purchase if I don't like it if I like it I'm keeping it okay all right and up next not to be outdone by anyone um, I want to say, do I want to say that I'm a collector? I'm a hoarder of Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, okay? I don't have them all. And I typically, some of them I don't necessarily care for. Some of them are discontinued. Um, and I purchased the Lila palette and the Circle Loco palette. I don't know how I feel about these, you guys. I know that I am in love with purple. However, I feel like the purple um, blue palette, the 28 pan palette, can give me some of these same looks. So I'm kind of on the fence of whether to keep this. I don't know. And then this palette, I know that <clears throat> um, Natasha Denona doesn't have a lot of colors like this. And so... Um, like this is really beautiful it's beautiful to look at it's visually appealing um, I don't know that I have anything like this in my collection but I'm also curious if, <clears throat> excuse me I'm also curious if I would even reach for this and so I want I, I don't even though I hoard makeup I use the stuff that I buy and I don't want to just buy it just to have it and never use it because it's not like, you know, was it didn't cost what this palette costs. It didn't cost what those three palettes cost. It costs way more than that. And so I want to be a good steward of my coins. So I'm on the fence, to be honest. I'm completely on the fence with both of these. So you know, if you guys own these palettes, let me know what you think, if they're worth keeping or not. Um, I mean, that's $260 well, minus the 20%, but still, like, that's a nice chunk of change. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm interested to hear you all's comments about those particular items. Okay, let's see. I've got so much stuff in here. Last item. This is just my new box. Some of the stuff I've already shared with you guys. I just wanted to make sure I got it out. Last item. This is something that I purchased again because it was like on super duper sale. And um, I was like, why not? So this is the Surratt La Rouge. I thought it was a lipstick. You guys, I can't read. It's so dark on here. Let's see. Okay. When I purchased this, I thought this was a lipstick. It looks more like an eyeliner. Maybe it is a lipstick still. Um, it's a very pretty wine color. 
So if I find that it doesn't work as a lipstick, I probably will use it as just a lip liner. But I do like the packaging. Like if you can see that it goes, it says Syrah in the front there. But it goes from a dark to like a really nice burgundy color. And I think that's probably the color of the, the shade that's in there. So I'm curious if the other ones are different colors. Okay, you guys. So that is it for my <sighs> mini haul all over the internet and in stores. Um, I am ashamed to say that I've purchased some additional things. I have some, some stuff coming, two packages coming from Bergdorf and then also one coming, the Sephora package that never got here. And then I have two other Tom Ford palettes coming. I have a problem I really do but it's okay because it makes me feel good I enjoy using it and sharing um, these products with you guys but at either rate you guys let me know um, if you have any of these products if you like them hate them want to see me try something on or use I did get a request for a, um, a Fenty uh, I think it's the ease drop tint so I will be having that coming out really, really soon. Uh, but let me know if you guys want to see any of these items accompany that. And I will certainly oblige. I hope you all are um, taking really, really good care of yourselves. And until next time, you guys, peace and love.